Yeah, this is what I'm doing out here now, picking these little strawberries for squirrel man. Hold on here. Come on, buddy. Come on around here on the other side. Come on. What's this, folks? That's what squirrel man wants. I'm walking around picking these for him. He loves them. Look at these. What a maniac. See, look at the color change on the trees. Reds, maroons, yellows. It'll even get better. Just got down in here. I, right there is where I found that cat eye marble. I gotta get all of this overburden off that's laying here. But just rake this out. What the heck is that? It looks like it had a little dropper on it. But that is a really odd, really cool little jar. You know, not worth a lot, but you gotta take stuff like that. I've never seen one of these. Might be an anchor, I don't know. Take along. Hopefully I can get it and it don't cave in on it. I see one right back there. Looks like a cat eye, but this one looks actually nice. Probably a marble cane. Wow. That's kind of nice. It's got a big bubble right in the middle of it. Now look at that weird bubble in that. It goes right through one of the wings of the cat eye. The only thing is the marble has dings to it. Plus it has a fracture on it someplace. Right there, see it? See that ding right there? This marble is worthless. But I just wanted to show you that weird bubble. I've not seen that before. It's just odd, huh? Later cut out roots and I shook them because stuff always gets hung up in it and I saw this fall right out of the roots hopefully this is whole get another Cracker Jack prize I'm pretty sure see it there all right oh man this is a witch this is a witch I'm pretty sure and it's it is, folks, with a crud. Oh, folks, this is awesome for Halloween. Well, you see this little piece here. You know, looks like a witch, but I would say this is something Cracker Jack put out in the 50s or 60s that's based on, like, a children's storybook, like Hans Hansel and Gretel or something like that. What do you think? versus just a straight witch that they could have come out of, with a series of these for halloween you know there could have been 10 different ones i don't know but that is stinking cool it's very nice all right well in my last video i'm uploading it right now actually it's not on yet that's a brass like piece um i found a marble right in here that's awesome it's a two color cat eye there's a top to an old yeah, that's a lipstick. That's one I don't have, but it's half of it's missing. I found a real beautiful two-color cat eye right here. Oh, look there. There's a Sistersville Art Deco bottle. We'll take that. It's It'd be worth a lot if it was center and bust, but it's not. But found that marble here. Now that Cracker Jack toy, see? There's a little plastic chair from a dollhouse. I thought that plastic thing was going to be one of them princess ones. Cracker Jack made a lot of princess ones like that that look like for little girls his prizes and I found them before and I thought that's what it was. Thank God that was that. That is one of the coolest ones I've ever found. Well, I think this is the band or watch and it's at least silver. It might be gold filled. I have to take that. Nothing, you know, spectacular but it can be melted down to scrap. You gotta take that. It's definitely good metal, I can tell. And head first to this. Holy crap, I see a nice one. Oh yeah. I bet you down. You see, that's a whole body length down the slant. I'm raking this stuff up this slant. I wanted to get that. That's been cracking and I didn't want it to cave in on it. Oh, that looks pretty nice. Wow. I'll clean it up at the house. Look at that. That's a swirl. That's a good one. Well, this swirl had a lot of steaming to it, but that's pretty nice, too. I got it all cleaned up. That's a pretty one, huh?
Happy to get it. I'm on a good spot. I'm going to show you this. These are kind of cool. This is like the fourth or fifth one I've pulled out of here. I put the other one over in my bag when I got a drink. But I'd say them are some kind of little perfume. I'm taking them all. The cap's been going on every one, but I could find something to find. See another marble. It looks awesome. Um, I'm really getting into them now. Hopefully I can get this out. Oh man, this is oh. Look at this, it's a big like patch. Oh yeah. That's what I am looking for, baby. Holy mackerel. That's either like a helmet or like a peerless patch, but it's big, it's on this shooter size. Yes! Yeah. Well, here's this. It's got that orange strip in there. It's pretty nice overall condition. And looking at this, I, I don't know. I, that might be a master. I found lots of these masters before on a dump, and they had bigger size to them. What do you think? It's some kind of patch. I'm going to go with a master. Might be some kind of peerless patch, but I'm going with master on this. That's what I think. But, man... That's going to look nice in my new frame I'm starting, huh? Another one. I'm right in, but you see this is horrible, dangerous, and I'm just going to have to go here shortly because i got to dig all this off to get down to these. And uh, this looks like a peewee, and it's a swirl. It's I can tell from here it's smaller. Oh, this is sick. Folks, this might... Oh, this is... This is one of those Cairo snake marbles. Oh my goodness, folks! This is a this is a smoker. There's gold highlighting. Look, folks! I'm pretty sure that's an S for a snake. Yeah, this is beautiful, isn't it? Looks like Cleveland Cavalier colors, doesn't it? But look at it. That's stuff adhered to the marble. I gotta save this one some more. A little bit of rust, but this is just mint. There's no dings on it. That's beautiful, huh? I like that. I'd call it a Cairo snake. You can see the snake in the ass right there. Just putting these last two. Look, look, this is the kind of stuff I'm looking for, folks, on these dumps right here. Amazing pop out, and I'm just going in after it. Cause it's just too good. It's marks. Oh yes. This is like a 1950 marks rubber plastic wing dog. Oh my gosh. Minus the rust staining on him, he's gonna clean. This is awesome. Man, folks, I'm on a treasure trove of marbles and sm folks. But look at that. That's two rake link links deep into the ground and I'm still in 1950s trash. This is a thick layer of trash. My goodness, look at it. Well, this is absolutely perfect and it's the car tire rubber plastic. I look at this being from about 1952 and I, probably Mark's Toys, M-A-R-X and it's got some staining to it, but I'll just soak this in lime away overnight and all that'll come off and it'll look just as nice as the day it came new. The kid had it. That's so cool. Later. Well, that's all I can take, but you see that. That's a long way back down in there. And I gotta take all of this off right here, which I will start on in the next trip. And then get so I can walk down in there. This layer of trash goes deep and it's going to go all through here and it's loaded. That, that Cairo snake marble was just, I don't even know what to say. That's mind blowing to me. I have other ones. That's a beauty. I'll put a link up at the end on the left where I found one that really has the snake head on it. I was excited that day and I'm excited today. Thanks for watching. Yeah, this is what I'm doing out here now. Picking these little strawberries for squirrel man. Hold on here. Come on, buddy. Come on around here on the other side. Come on. What's this, folks? 
That's what Squirrel Man wants. I'm walking around picking these for him. He loves them. Look at these. What a maniac.